So my question to you, you talk to a lot of people around branding. What type of advice uh, would you give somebody that is trying to understand how to best package their brand um, and really where to take it? What, what value has it brought you that you think it could bring others? Yeah, absolutely. Great question. So I, I think anyone in sales understands this and they've probably heard it over and over again is that people do business with those that they know, like, and trust. And to really break down that, that barrier, that's a very simple way to put a lot of different things. Most people don't understand that how they're putting out their branding on social is that they're only talking about the success. And my pivot and my change was when I started opening up about things that weren't just the end result. I started talking about more so the downs and the motivational things that my target market or the people that are in my network wanted to see. And so the people that I'm catering to are completely different today than they were March 16th of 2020. The way that I post and the way that I have intent around everything that I do is different today than it was then as well. So I've opened up and been more consistent about what I do. I post on Facebook twice a day at the same times every single day in the morning. It's a little bit more of a motivational get up and go. Uh, and then the afternoon, it might be a or the, the early evening, it might just be kind of a more lighthearted or, or something around what I learned that day, but it's geared towards all the people that I'm trying to get connected with. And I think a lot of people want to take, take, take. They don't want to give, give, give. So I've had people that don't like, comment, share, do anything involvement-wise with my posts, but they send me messages directly on the daily saying, Adam, I need to do business with you or I, I'm, you know, you've inspired me to, I'm doing the 75 hard challenge right now. Like you've inspired me to get healthier. You've inspired me to do this, or I'm going to take my business more seriously because of what you're putting out there. And so I think people are always looking for the shiny object that they can see results. They can get more money. They want results quick. So talking about that journey, like I take people through my journey because not only does it allow them to realize that what they likely think and know, or they think they know about what's going on in their business or their life is only a fraction of what it actually takes in order to be successful. God, I love it. Um, making a difference makes all the difference. When you know that your message is resonating, um, when you've been able to really help someone, anyone, um, that makes all the difference in the world. What you said right there, Adam, about all of it, if I were to boil it down to two words, it's be relatable. Um, I love that you focused on the fact that you talk about the downs because that's the reality. Success is not for those that are unwilling to fail, period. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, uh, it, it's one of those things that, you know, especially around branding, um, I, I started out and I will admit, I, I made a lot of mistakes around branding too. I shared a lot of third party articles, stuff that wasn't compelling or provocative. And now everything is geared towards starting conversations. Um, you know, how can we pull people into the conversation? I love to learn. I love to connect with others and really just stay at the pulse of what's happening with sellers and leaders. Um, people always say that I'm an anomaly because I have this, um, you know, book series and do some of these things around sales, but I also am a full-time uh, employee at a, at a major organization. So um, I, I love having those dual identities, kind of like Batman, Bruce Wayne, can't figure out which one's which, but you know, we'll, we can debate that another time. But what I love about that is that one informs the other. The things, skills that you learned in previous roles are absolutely going to inform what you do now and into the future. And we're always learning, we're always investing in ourselves um, and in the relationships around us. And so